the next day I headed out to discover the city on foot. Wellington is incredibly compact, and while you could walk from one end of town to the other within a half hour, you will probably want to take your time admiring this vibrant wee city, nestled within the sparkling harbor and rolling green hills. And it's so nice to have Oriental Parade at your doorstep, only a short stroll from where I'm staying. Which is where I'm heading next, to meet the owner of this iconic museum hotel, at the in-house restaurant, the award-winning Hippopotamus. So tell me about the history of this really beautiful hotel. Well, I suppose the first thing I can tell you is that it used to be over there. Um, and 16 years ago when that building was, um, they thought about building it, um, we actually moved it from there, rolled it along the road here, and then back across the road into this site. That so, so that's how it all started. So the attention to detail in this hotel is so special and so amazing. It makes it feel really personalised here. All of our guests, I sort of think of them really as being guests in my home. So the art collection is really part of like furnishing a home. Yeah. And it's great to see the really positive vibe about, uh, about the artwork and people just come back and back and back because they just love it. Quite often now I get calls from people saying, you know, do you mind if I bring a few people from our group, our book group or something, and could you show them your art collection? And so we spend about an hour showing them around uh, the art collection and they love it. Chris and I talked the afternoon away and I was interested in what he thought made Wellington such an exciting, vibrant city. People Here. talk about it as being one of the best capital villages in the world as opposed to a capital city, which I think is kind of nice. Capital, you know, it it's is a capital a village. village. It yeah. feels like a little village. Yeah, it does, but it's got all the, um, all the features of a, of a reasonable sized city. You know, we've got a wonderful art scene in Wellington. Yeah. I mean, uh, and, and we have a lot to do with it as the hotel. The oysters, white bait and salmon, coming out of French chef Laurent's kitchen were quite a surprise. Chris tells me he wanted to create a restaurant with its own superb reputation. We're now regarded as one of the better restaurants in Wellington and uh, most of our guests in the evening are from outside the hotel. Yeah. So we're really not dependent on the hotel guests anymore. We've become a sort of fine dining Wellington restaurant in its own right. And the hippopotamus certainly is.